I'm Nataniela Barquez from the Philippines, representing the tribe from the Four Waves tribe. Mga Pilipino! Galing sa Pilipinas! Salamat! Maruru! Mabuhay! My name is Jasmine Atienza. I am a tattoo artist with Spiritual Journey Tattoo. I've been apprenticed with Spiritual Journey Tattoo Shop with my boss, Alistair Festin, and his wife, Riasel Festin. Al Festin, he's like the like the leader of like the survival of the Philippine um, tribal. He's the one that researched all the patterns over you know all the history of the of the Philippines. Tatak ang apat na alon tribe, which means mark of the four waves tribe. Uh, we call ourselves that for the main four um, waves of immigration that make up who we are as uh, a culture. Um, it started with uh, ten original members in the Los Angeles, California area. Um, they wanted to revive the Filipino tattoo, so they started with chess pieces. They put it all on themselves to uh, signify like the, um, the the Filipino tattoos that are dying out. Um, a lot of that uh, is uh, a lot of the Filipino tattoos are no longer uh, around. All we have are manuscripts from old uh, colonial times and we have uh, elders in the mountains that still have their old tattoos from World War II and they earned those tattoos by headhunting the Japanese in World War II. The origins of the tribe, how we started it, it's because uh, we wanted to revive traditional tattoo cultures of the Philippines because it was dying out because of colonialism, religion, and many factors. So a lot of immigrants that, you know, migrate to the U.S. to get better jobs and everything in other countries, they wanted um, to assimilate. They didn't want to speak the language, teach their children the language. Uh, Filipinos all over the globe have, they're always at their, they're from third world countries so they want to make a better living. Uh, it's hard to be, you know, brown, immigrant, having jobs out of, uh, like, white people don't like that. Then we're doing like traditional style and then the machines too. People are becoming a little more aware of it now just because it's more in the media or on TV shows or stuff, um, but overall people prefer machine. Yeah. Basically put needles on the side and then wrap it with plastic and then we start doing the poking ones. So Bologad here, this is um, a watcher from the mountains and we put weaving things in here. When I tattoo them, it basically this is them holding this black bird, right? It's burden. So when I tattoo them, it flies away. It's gone. You know? I put it in the fire, in the ether. When you realize you don't have culture, that's when you start trying to find out what's uh, your roots and culture. So, you know, because I felt like uh, 
a lot of Filipinos were like the branches of a tree, you know. So when the wind blows, it, it goes like that, like that, you know. Another thing happened, they sway it the other way. So what I did is try to figure out what the trunk is, and you know, the ancestors, and then what's the roots of the culture. So I know that the tree's strong, yeah. Uh, no matter how um, uh, the storm blows, blows the tree, it stands strong. So that's why I wanted to make sure a lot of Filipinos know their roots and culture and do the revival. I just, uh, it just fell on my lap. You know, and from there it's history, just that too, you know. No, no, no school for this. Um, our organization basically helps, uh, helps other Filipinos grow, like uh, culturally wise. All of us come from different walks of life, all from the Philippines, all from different regions of the Philippines, but get together as one tribe still. So another thing we also share as spirit animals, we all have different spirit animals in the same shape of a linglingo, which is our sign of fertility. So I have mine as a wild boar, Isla's is a dog, yes. Mm -hmm. And mine is a turtle.